Bro, look, man. I don't know, man. Come on, man. God damn, my man. Don't need this, man. Come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. Wednesday, everyone. Let's get blunted and stay lifted above all things. Welcome to Blunts Over Bullshit, Power Hour Sheesh. We are here in control of the airwaves. Yes, I finally paid to say whatever the fuck I want all night long and do my rants. So that's what I'm going to do. Tonight's topic, we are going to speak on staying lifted above the bullshit, the motto of the show, and the moral of my life. (laughs) It's pretty simple. People should live by rising above and being peaceful. I mean, living for a purpose, a passion, having a duty for a cause other than doing nothing complaining and just living half lives is so much more to the world than that so i like to smoke my blunts i stay blunted backwards is my preference of choice and you know i think and that's what i do so tonight though other than that we're featuring our my signature, something that I started a year and a half ago, which is our lifted pineapple, which is infused three ways. I actually soak the pineapple in a tincture. I make the rice homemade in three different styles. You can have jasmine rice, fried rice, or an Asian rice. But tonight I did a special pineapple saffron rice with fresh vegetables and tinctured peppers and tinctured roasted pineapple. Anyone who came out to the event last year, they know that like the pineapple was lit. The pineapples alone were just amazing. Long story short, come out each and every Wednesday now into June the 23rd. Get free drunken pineapples. I'm infusing everything with pineapples from here on out all summer long. I have a shitload of fresh, quality, organic pineapples. And I'm just going to dope them, lift them out all summer. Because that's what I like to do. I love to cook. I've been on the cooking cannabis scene before it was a scene. Because I was in the restaurant food industry, catering, and doing my thing there. I love cooking and eating as you can tell um, because I'm really healthy yes and I really appreciate my supporters for coming out tonight and getting lifted with me and following up and just supporting my movement and my cause I really appreciate all of that if you have any questions or want to support or feedback to the community or feed bread for the city, there are many different ways that you can be a voice and you can be a movement in your community, whatever ward, whether you live in Maryland, D.C. or Virginia, whether you smoke or you don't smoke, you can become an activist and get involved in your community other than complaining and talking to your friends so let's make it a movement here i have a dead pineapple obviously you can see it's not green like this one which is all pretty so this ripe nice juicy pineapple but i just wanted to bring you know something to put on the table with me today it's going in the trash no worries but we will have drunken tinctured pineapples next wednesday here on out so come out try free samples and support your girl lifted kk eat my rainbows we're gonna take a break while i entertain my lovely supporters thank you blunts over bullshit it's a movement my OGs, they sounded like 
like a choir in and out of central bookings as a kid didn't know no better till i learned about that chatter and wu-tang was talking cream had me standing on the street like trying to gather up the things had to find a better way now i own a couple things i still be on the street lights but down below they see my name Cracking with G, rub my hands together, laughing cause they bad as can be. Pulling with Tiffany and sending they bad as fuck as her and Marie. About to throw them up and bust them up, they love us for free. But first I had to meet them down the drive by the street light. First time in person, had to know what y'all the feet like. Pause for a second, entertained about the street light. Then they started shaking, dancing naked under the street lights. Bumping on patrol, twist the toy, got the beat now. Shout out took my hand to pull me closer under the street lights. The other three grabbed and wanna know what the meat's like. Ripping me apart before we start to hit the sheets right under the street lights. Oh, yeah. Time to get right. Two hour flight straight to the A. Yeah, it's on the night. Twizzy Twee. It's cold out, man. Yeah, you and that goddamn You safe out here. Yeah, yeah, you know it's all 22 below tonight. Be on point. Keep that heat with you. Be smart, man. 22 below. Who you weather? Keep that heat close. Watch them warm hugs make bread. Not toast. Shut the fuck up. Listen, pay attention. Learn something. Now back to this motherfucking money, 22 below Hoodie weather, keep that heat close Watch them warm hoods make bread Not toast, shut the fuck up Listen, pay attention, learn something Now back to this motherfucking money Stay warm, my hustlers It's a cold winter coming Does them long hugs and fake smiles And the cops running They don't love you, so don't love them either Keep them lines even, make the money How the fuck you sleeping? Get up on your feet, Wake up. the Bentley with the diamond seats Make you feel complete Watch 
them one hugs make bread. Not two, shut the fuck up. Listen, pay attention, learn song. Now back to this motherfucking money. Topic of today, action, actions, and one person that I really love or admire is Theodore Roosevelt. He was an activist. He was called a radical. He started the Bull Moose Party, which was for the people, and I'm for the people. I am so for the people and for the communities and for the good of the greater of everything. Like, let's love, let's freaking like, we just supposed to make people happy and free and all of these like amazing things, but somehow in DC uh, or around the world rather, because even in our political state, it is making people crazy and really go after all of the wrong things. One love, let's listen to some Bob Molly vibe out. I mean, come on, hello, wake up people. Anyway, Theodore Roosevelt, he actually, he was uh, our president twice <laughs> and wanted to run for a third term under a third party, which was the Bull Moose Party. So throughout, my time here with you on the radio station will be also like a history lesson into different things. And bring me history. I love learning new things. So if you have something that interests you or anything about the community, because I don't know everything and I would love to learn new things. So let's start something. I'm calling all my can of moms, my regular moms, like I'm a mother. And I'm here trying to bring about change. I love doing what I do, which is working for myself, as well as, you know, working for my daughter, because <laughs> she's number one. I'm very active in her school, and we started a nonprofit, and this is what the radio show is about, feeding 
the community, feed in the nonprofits of DC because a lot of people aren't involved and they aren't interested or they don't know how to get involved. So this is the station to find out. We're gonna learn together. One to 39 is your steps to start a nonprofit. Anyone can do it. Maybe that's not your dream or your goal, but what is your goal? Find out what it is. Everyone has a purpose and a passion and work for that. Blunts over bullshit. It's a movement, it's a goal, like it's a lifestyle, it's a vibe, it's about rising above anything that can bring you down or that is not on focus with where you need to elevate your life, your soul, your chakra, your mental. It's about becoming more than what you were yesterday. And I'm just all about peace and blessings. So you don't have to like my message or my outer or, you know, I couldn't get my nails done because I've been on the move. <laughs> like really working two, three jobs, trying to vend, trying to be the best mom, the best person that I can be for myself. So everything doesn't always fit in the schedule and I may not make it on time, but I'm alive, I'm here, and I'm trying, and I'm rising above the bullshit every day. All of the challenges, I'm here. And weed helps me do that. So I love my ganja, my marijuana, my blunts. Yeah, so let's get blunted, and I'm gonna entertain. I'm alone today, and I like to roll with the punches. And my partner, he's like, uh, shout out to at Keith Kusher and to all the people that believe in me. Shout out to my daughter who would not be watching this show. <laughs> so, but I just wanna shout her out cause that's my boo and I really love her and she's my everything. And she's the vision behind our nonprofit, why I started, which you'll learn more about and how you can actually get involved you can send me emails follow me at lifted kk at real life superhero because i am a superhero like i haven't i just didn't start this overnight like this has been a dream this has been something since i was 18 i had my daughter as a teenager that i wanted to leave a legacy for her and i didn't even smoke then so i wasn't always a stoner and yeah long story short we're on to things, and you can follow my old page, whatever. I used to be on Facebook at Enough is Enough. And last year around this time, um, I was on the move doing my cannabis thing. But I don't know, somehow my seven-year-old page got flagged. So you can't go back and look at all the activism I've done. But we'll walk for babies, we'll rap for food. I've started different campaigns throughout college. I've volunteered throughout my life um, through my grandparents working at Howard University and see how everything comes full circle. My grandmother catered all her life. So this is embedded in me and I will change DC. Whether you are with me or not, it's destiny and when the universe is aligned and it's your time it's your time so let's rise above stay beautiful inside and out my people it's wednesday sheesh uh best deals in the city we got flavors flour everything's homemade fresh from scratch i like to infuse uh two or three different ways in different levels so you can get a balance and achieve a certain feeling so yeah that's what it is and we're going to stay lifted above all things and i'm going to check out for a moment and entertain my guests since i am rolling with the punches yeah so, peace. In our world, baby, let's get it right. I can't let you walk on my life, baby. You keep me tight. Fuck that. You my lady and I'm your man. We lost communication, but baby, I got a plan.
can see I'm a savage, smoking nut, but the cabbage, twisted cash, and trunk, having fun, like, like it's magic, magic. me got the money, I need a mill in the bag, Bugattis and flavors, helicopters and choppers, what makes you think you can stop us, 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 Mayweather money, I need a mill in the bag, Bugattis and flavors, helicopters and choppers, what makes you think you can stop us, what makes you think you can stop us, what makes you think you can stop us? What makes you think you can stop us? Yeah, main man, got 
ten fingers, almost six rings. That's nice, fam. What kind is that? Nah, nah, G, you should take it. Ain't never seen a nigga with a watch like mine. Ain't never seen a nigga with a chain like mine. Ain't never seen a nigga rock rings like mine. Ain't never seen a nigga shit bling like mine. Like mine? <laughs> nah, that shit tight, dog. Nah, but it ain't like mine. Nah. They ain't never seen a nigga with a watch like mine. They ain't never seen a nigga with a chain like mine. They ain't never seen a nigga rock rings like mine. They ain't never seen a nigga shit bling like mine. Never. Like mine? Nah, 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 nah. That shit mean. But it ain't like mine. Nah. Hit the lights, it's a light show. These diamonds came with a night glow. This bezel here caught some light though. Did you catch the flash off the light though? Seen a nigga with a watch like mine. Ain't never seen a nigga with a chain like mine. Ain't never seen a nigga rock rings like mine. Ain't never seen a nigga shit bling like mine. Like mine? <laughs> nah, that shit tight, dog. Nah, but it ain't like mine. Nah. They ain't never seen a nigga with a watch like mine. They ain't never seen a nigga with a chain like mine. They ain't never seen a nigga rock rings like mine. They ain't never seen a nigga shit bling like mine. Like mine? Nah, 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 nah. That shit mean. But it ain't like mine. Nah. Welcome to Magic Sound Lab. Where all the drinks is on ice. The bitches is nice. And the blunts are rolled tight. What you think we doing, bitch? 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 What you think we doing? Trying to get rich, bitch. I need six, bitch. I'm the one, bitch. You think I'm dumb, bitch? I'm looking for my treasure, bitch. Yeah, you should look for yours. You want me stay local, bitch? I'm about to start a world tour. Gotta tighten up, bitch. I was headed for disaster. I ain't about to preach to you. So we was just vibing out for for a minute, but on a real tip, Teddy Roosevelt, he's freaking awesome, Teddy, for the win. He did the, our national parks. If you did not know, he started the national parks because he was for preservation. If you don't know, we have Republicans in office right now trying to overturn the national parks for commercialism that's some fucking bullshit they not smoking enough blunts they hitting too much of that oxy cotton it's a part of the system come on now let's rise above the bullshit blunts over the bullshit now why are we going to take away the trees we need the trees in the green hello oxygen but back to Teddy Roosevelt, he started the national parks because he was for preservation. He was all about the people, the Bull Moose Party. He also started what we call our so for second national park, Yosemite. Sometimes I bounce around, but that's on my bucket list. And I want me and my daughter to go there to Yosemite Park. It has some of the most amazing views. It's in California. And he was the first president to visit that part of California. And he did a two-week hiatus. He was all about nature. I love the nature. So that's kind of why I love Teddy. So, yeah. Oh, one place in D.C. that a lot of people don't know about. Theodore Roosevelt Island, which is right off. Of, look at that Teddy smokes. He's for the ganja. Smoke that, Teddy. It's not a bunt, though, but we, we get you, Teddy. We get you. I, I really do believe he was out there with the bears and in the forest hitting him some herb. It's only right. He was in California, duh. It was just growing freely back then, you know, in abundance. The capital, like they all the, uh, what do you call it, the flags were made out of hemp. Hemp was, it's so much more sustainable for one than cotton because we have to treat cotton with all these pesticides and chemicals that it actually causes cancer so that's the bullshit 
you know, we're going to be addressing all these things. I'm going to give you my email because I have started different campaigns for the bullshit that we're trying to fight. And maybe if you want to join a wave or a movement or a cause, there's so many out there. And we're going to list them. That's what Blunt Silver Bullshit is going to be about. And you can follow and find out how you can become an activist or move in any way. But long story short, on your smoker trails, because this weather is about to be popping, it's my life, and uh, I love this spring and summer. I'm a spring baby. And Theodore Roosevelt Island is a perfect place in D.C. to go sheesh, read, take a break, a breather, leisure, life, and uplift your soul, and just reconnect. And Teddy Roosevelt did that for us, and it's a memory, memorial place to go, which is great. Um... Another place, Teddy Roosevelt Island. Other than that, hey, supporter, how are you? Uh, another place to go, 19th Street, Teddy Roosevelt's old home. We have so many staples and historic places in D.C., but I love Teddy Roosevelt, and I'll periodically give you a lot of, you know, info about Teddy. And he also named the White House his daughter, the White House was called the Executive Mansion or the Executive Office, which is still uh, a name for it, but it's mainly named for the White House because one day Teddy Roosevelt was like, it's just a silly White House. That's what he told his daughter Alice, and it stuck, you know, because it was blunt, and he's like, fuck the bullshit. Why are we giving it this long-ass dumb name? The Executive Mansion, blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. Right, it's a white ass house. So that's, you know, he said, it's a fucking white house. Okay, Alice. And then he, you know, did some expansions like the Rose Garden, the West Wing. Teddy did that. Know your facts, your history. Y'all, I mean, what y'all doing other than shooting the shit all day? Read a book. I mean, stop talking about people. Find out some facts. I'm just saying. I'm not anybody, but that's just what I know. And I like to share my information or whatever. But I'm going to take a break and peace out and talk to my supporters. And I'm going to come back with some more Teddy facts. Maybe we can go on a little Teddy sheesh date and I can take you around the city to some cool Teddy spots. Because he had more than one house in Washington, D.C., you know. Teddy was awesome. And he loved nature. Oh, they also named a freaking river after Teddy Roosevelt. The real Roosevelt. It was called the Valley or the River of Death. It connects to the Amazon. And he was the first American to take an excursion on this river. I've read many books and yeah, so Teddy was dope. It was over 800 kilometers. He took his son, his son name was Kermit. He, yeah, that's kind of weird. He named his son Kermit, but they went on dope trips and they went on this excursion and met and bartered with the people of the Amazon and of the culture. Find out about Pisco. And we're going to learn about infusing some things with cannabis on this uh, Blunt Silver Bullshit show. Because I'm pretty sure Teddy was out there in the shrubs and the wilderness infusing some things. Because he had to live and they didn't have medicine back then. So cannabis is medicine. And hey, um, I'll be back. <laughs> Take this pain away. Got weed, got it. Got blunt, got it. We'll roll up. Yeah. Burn one with, with me. You ever took some losses? Fuck yeah, yeah. shit. Burn one with me. Thirteen, they see it coming. What's that? And they wonder why my hustle so numb. Talk to me. Lost my mom, said fuck the world. Hell no. Only thing that make me smile is my baby girl. Trying to find my way. Yeah. If I stay in the hood, in the ground I lay. What you mean? What you mean? We pull triggers on these we pray. Huh? In the jungle, like while we pray. Then 
lived in these streets. Yeah, homeless nigga, no cash, can't eat. God dang. Had to get up on my fucking feet. Cause if I don't hustle, don't nobody eat. Burn one with me. party i'm really trying to like bring back the bull moose party so whoever is with me for the people and free water like so just so you can know a little more about teddy roosevelt he tried to break the monopolies before they even started you know he was like why uh, J.D. Morgan Trust and the electrician company. He's like, why are we paying for water and electric? This should all be put into a pool for the people. We are still fighting for some of the same issues, some of the same views. Like, why do we have to pay for water? Mm, it's, a, it's a real good question. And why is Flint's water still contaminated? This is a real issue. And we have Trump getting up here uh, sending tweets about bullshit. And we have people in the United States of America with no clean water. Matter of fact, no one in the world should be without clean access to water in 2018. It's so many issues that you could be fighting, working towards, or, I mean, spending your time um, to help a person, a, anyone, a dog. I mean, help somebody other than yourself get over on the fucking world. Please, for the sake of the fairies and the unicorns and the rainbows or any fucking thing other than your pockets. Because <laughs> honestly, it's for me, it's not about the money like I want the money because of all the bullshit that I have to go through so I can actually help other people so we won't have to it's like a constant cycle so if we can alleviate one of the main things or come to some form of new fiscal agreement where people work for a cause a duty or a goal. So that's why I have all these sayings that have been sitting on my brain for years. And now I have a radio station where I can just come and talk and just let it all out. Because I paid to do that shit. Because I quit my job and I was like, I'm tired of living in the matrix and trying to work three jobs and start two businesses and, 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 and be a mom and, and. Uh, live for a purpose and a cause. So I stood up for my life. You know, everyone, we have to take a stand at some form and some moment and period in some way. So your cause isn't my cause, but I'm here rocking. And 
what I have to say is stay lifted. Because <laughs> I do and I will above everything that has been thrown at me. Long story short, <clears throat> Teddy Roosevelt, he's the shit. And he also tried to break the monopolies, but he also started a great movement of minds and a great movement in his time. And he is still alive a hundred years, almost a hundred years later. His legacy is still going on and I want to leave my own legacy. So that's why I'm here on the radio station. Yeah. Blunts over bullshit. That's my movement. And we are going to check out for the night. And we appreciate everyone for tuning in and supporting. Check back in next Wednesday. We will be here, Power Hour Sheesh, uh, at Keith Kusher, at Lifted KK, at the chef behind the bag. Uh, that's also me. Yeah. At Real Life Superhero, which is like my regular page. <laughs> If you want to do some searching. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're here. Best deals in the city. We have uh, new flavors and things coming. Tinctures, drinks. Whenever I can get in the kitchen and make more things. <laughs> but I love doing it. So I'll be here every Wednesday giving away my heart and my rainbows. So you can come and get some freebies if you like, because I'll be here just giving it away. That's what I like to do. Like, I don't even have much, but I'll give it away because it's all about giving. And I'm here to give my gifts to the world. So that's what I'm going to do. And one of my sayings is, we're for the culture, not the vultures. I'm not here to rob you guys. I'm here for the community. So however I can enrich you with my soul, with my mind, with my lovely flowers or herbs, because I grow a little bit of everything. You know, you can do like DUI, romaine, lettuce. I got some herbs growing, some mint, because all that's healthy. And I like to cook for my daughter, and she likes to eat good. She told me when she was 10, she's like, I'm going to be vegan because I'm tired of you bringing all this policy stuff home from school. Uh, we got more supporters, so we're going to take a break. And it's pretty much wrapping up the end of the night anyway. So thanks, guys, for supporting. Lift it, KK, Kusha, Chef. Uh, I'm going to get my restaurant peeps to come out in some other... Uh, community activists, some of my sisters, or whoever I can find that has time, because it is late, but this fits my schedule, so I had to work with what works for me. Uh, peace and blessings. Stay lifted above all things. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the whole eye, because I like looking all around, so I'm, I'm learning. It's going to get better with time. <laughs> Night.